Hi guys, it's EJ Emerald here, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Ambitions. Just threw me a second there, um, because the top of my game says it's The Sims 3 Pets, because that's obviously the expansion pack that, I, that was newest that I've got installed. So that just threw me a second there. Welcome to The Sims 3 Ambitions Part 3, which I am so excited for. They're all up at the moment, getting ready for work. Kai's eating some breakfast. Vanessa's is going to go shower. Oh, she, and she's going to clean the shower as well. Eddie, oh. Deliver a painting to China. A Chinese merchant wants to pay, uh, wants to commission you for a large painting to display at home. You have to travel to Shang Simla and deliver a painting worth more than 750 simoleons to earn a cash reward. I don't think we have the money to actually travel to China, and even if we did, Zia is, isn't good enough at painting yet to have a painting worth that much, so we're going to have to say no at the moment. But Eddie is doing some sketching, and Zia was... Oh, okay, she's just... Oh yeah, she's just answering her phone. Oh yeah, she wants to get a cat. We will get a cat at some point, but not just yet. Who has work? You have work soon, so you know what we are going. You clean that once you're done. Right, what skills do we need? Zia, you. She kind of doesn't really need that many skills, so she might as go. I might as well go and do some more painting. Then she can just come down and watch TV for a bit. Unless she's doing some cleaning and she's obviously showering, and then she can just go to work. Oh. Okay, she doesn't need to yet. Uh, she can just read her hand in this book then once she's done. Kai, we're going to take straight away out once he's finished eating to go and interview this sim. And Eddie is sketching at the moment, as I said earlier. So what he is going to do is I'm just going to wait till he's finished the sketch and then I'll get him to sketch something else as well. Right, Kai. Because obviously Eddie, in fact I think Eddie starts work. Eddie starts work at 8, so he will be doing that soon. He'll be going to work soon, which is pretty cool. Right. I have no idea really what it is that Zira is painting, but it is quite adorable. That little, like, monster thing that's completely pink. And it looks, just looks adorable. But why is he stuffed? He was... Hungry when I fed him. Oh, I don't know. He was hungry when I told him to go and eat. So I don't know. Why is Eddie still in his pajamas? I thought he'd got dressed. Oh well. That's a pretty cool sketch, but it's only worth four simoleons. That's a bit strange. I'm gonna put this up on our wall. Can we get up above our bed? Yeah, we can. Oh, cool. Right. And Kai will just come with Kai because all of the others are doing something, so they're all fine. Eddie can get some breakfast soon. I thought we'd already eaten, but he obviously hasn't. Right, so we are travelling to go and see... What's her name? Oh, it doesn't say. I think her name is... Her last name is Sergeant, but I don't know what her first name is. Have we met her? Oh, there, there she is. She is Scout Sergeant. We got this assignment on the very last um, day. Yeah, the very last day of... What on earth? Why is the ground thinking about funny things? That's just a bit strange. I don't know. Okay, so she's disappeared and he's talking to nobody. I hate these glitches. Right, the case of the footstore floater. Scout has, lo has long had qualms, whatever on earth that means, with a certain next door neighbour. Seems preposterous that, that the neighbour, Dudley Rackett, would go on a nightly toe smashing rampage, but who knows? I should speak to Dudley Rackett about this ac accusation. Right, let's go speak to Dudley. I don't know where she's gone. Can I reset her actually? You know what? Let me just try and reset her because. I don't know why she's just disappeared. 
very strange. Okay, so I just reset her, but she's still... No, she is still kind of not showing up anywhere. So this is incredibly very weird. I don't like this at all. I have to get Zia to like invite her to the salon and then we might be able to edit her or something. I don't know. But it's very frustrating. Right. Come on then. Oh, we visited the park. Yes, we did. Zia just completed the painting, valued at 27 simoleons. Sell it for cash or drag it onto the wall to hang it. Well, I think we are going to hang it because it's quite an adorable painting. Um, the one of the big pink or purpley monster thing. It's really quite adorable. Right, come on then, speak to Dudley. Oh, we need to go to work. Mm -hmm. No, nope, just go to work. You. Right, the case... Oh, it's the same one. The neighbour began cackling like a hyena who has had too much laughing gas at the dentist. It appears the real suspect is Scout Sergeant. Every night, Scout Sergeant sleepwalks and kicks the garden gnome. I should, re I should research sleepwalking a little bit at the local hospital to see if the facts line up. Okay, so we need to go and research sleepwalking at uh, the local hospital. So we are going to go and do that now. So let's go on, Kai. And Alyssa, is she at work? I think she's at yeah she yeah she's at work. So we don't have a trampoline in our garden. Right, stop. It's really hard. I've been playing. Um, I was playing Sims Three yesterday, but I had it in full screen mode because I can when I'm not recording. So now it's really hard to get back to get used to um, not having it in full screen mode again. Right, go maintain them, and then go on the computer and uh, chat with whoever that lady is, Shyla Curtis. We are. Go I'm gonna try and keep an eye on everyone at once, um, because it's gonna be quite tricky to keep an eye on. You know what? We've done a lot of work with Eddie. He is going to take the day off if he can. Take unpaid time off one day so that we can just focus on the other three for a bit because we've been focusing on Eddie a lot lately. So, like, in in the other two parts, we mostly focused on Eddie. And, uh, well, we probably would have in the introduction if it wasn't just, like, introducing the Sims. Oh. Right, we'll read that in a minute. Right, he's taking personal time off. Then he's going to eat some food and then he can watch some TV. He can just have a relaxing day. I think he deserves a day off after how hard he's been working. Kai is busy researching sleepwalking. Alyssa is maintaining things. We need to keep an eye on her so we don't miss another fire because we, we've only really been for one with her, which is quite annoying. Zia is here. <laughs> that rhymes. Sorry. Right. Apparently, some long-lost relative of mine is having a black tie garden party in some far-off land. I'm going to need a really fancy look if I'm going to fit in with my newly found relatives. Oh, um, yeah, but we've already... That's really annoying because we've been to work already quite a few times. I don't know why it's just getting the memory now. Right. Where is... Okay, well, she needs to actually show up then. So, for San... So we need one new formal wear and a new hairstyle. No, what are we doing? No, go here. Oh, Alyssa's been promoted. Congratulations, Alyssa has been conferred the new title of Soot Stripper by the Twinbrook Town Council in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce. You survived your first few emergencies and the town is still standing. I know, they sound really shocked there. Your service is not going unnoticed, but that doesn't mean you're a true firefighter yet. Only time spent in the middle of the fire will earn that title. Alyssa now makes 340 simonians per week and works from 9am to 5pm. Oh, I already knew the OS. <laughs> right, congratulations. Eddie Granger's request for unpaid time off has been approved. Oh, that's good. So he can relax for the day. I don't know why it's red, but it just starts in one day, one day in 23 hours. I don't know why, but okay, I'll just leave that doing its stuff. Right, you're fine, Kai. Zia is... I mean, Alyssa's fine. Zia is waiting for Sandy to show up. 
Where is she? Oh, she's just shown up. Okay. Oh, she's brought a little toddler with her. Oh, how cute. That must be her child. Unless she's a teen. I don't actually know how old she is. Alyssa got promoted. Right, who is... Yeah, they've got the same last name. That must be her daughter. That is adorable. Right, give her a friendly introduction. She kind of needs to put her daughter down, though, otherwise she can't really get the makeover. But, oh, a little, little toddler. I love toddlers. Don't know why we don't have them in Sims 4. Just put them out there. But I think everyone knows that, so... <laughs> everyone apart from the Sims 4 team, apparently. Incredibly annoying. Right, so we are meeting... Sandy. It took me ages to find her name then. It was directly in front of me. But yeah. Right. Offer makeover to Sandy Ludwig. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it sounds semi right to me. I know Vee is friendly. Um, Dennis Rackett is apparently a burglar. Lovely. Right, you go home after you've done that. Okay, I will see you guys once I have done the makeover and then I will show you what it is. Oh, okay, I'll do that in a minute. According to the docs, the sleepwalking theory makes a lot of sense. It seems Scout Sergeant has consulted with the hospital before for sleepwalking. I should tell Scout Sergeant that I solved the case. Report in to Scout Sergeant. Now I will see you in a minute. Okay, so I have given Sandy a new look. She wanted a new formal wear with a new hairstyle. So I have given her this really pretty hairstyle. It doesn't help that her she has that awful murky browny greeny kind of hair colour. So that is incredibly annoying. So I'm going to have to change that another time, but it will probably get annoyed with me if I change her hair colour. It'll be like, no, that's not what we told you to do. So, oh, I just realised the music's playing. I, my, my headphone was like vibrating on my ear though. And I was like, what on earth are you doing? But it's just the music's playing. It's really good. Right, before it gets too loud, I'll just finish talking. Um, and then she got this lovely hairstyle and this really quite pretty dress. I really like it actually. I love the little bit of detail in there. Uh, no, the so yeah, that is her makeover. I'll see you in a minute. We are going to take a photograph and then we'll be done. Okay, apparently we can't. There we go. Smile at us then, woman. Smile at us. Come on. Good enough. Right. We just styled Sandy. Cong right. And then this came up when I was in the middle of styling her. Congratulations. Kai has been conferred the new title of Small Claims Investigator by the Twinsbrook Town Council in recognition of his valuable contributions to the workforce. Unpaid debts and property damage may not make a splash in the headlines, but hard work and honest investigating will get the job done. With your magnifying glass, no clue can be, will be too small, so get out there and start hunting for your next lead. Kai Lewis has received a magnifying glass to snoop for clues with. Your reward can be found in Kai Lewis's personal inventory and he now makes 340 simoleons a week. That is pretty good. Right, so Alyssa doesn't, not Alyssa, I keep getting them mixed up. I'm really sorry guys, when I start a new series with a new household, I really struggle to remember names. <sighs> right, I'll remember soon, I really will. Right, she won't have any tasks for a little while, so we're going to go focus on Alyssa for a bit. So you can read that, and then when you're done, you can read that. And Kai is fine. You can report his findings later. And actually, all she's doing is sit at a computer. Done that. How do we improve the horsepower? Handiness skill is needed to upgrade the fire engine. Let's read the handiness book then. Right, we will stay on Kai so we can go report the findings then. Oh, he's almost home. Oh well. Well, good going out again now, Kai. <laughs> I'm glad you don't have to pay for taxis in this game because the amount of times we just go out in the taxi. Oh, we'd be broke if we 
did that. We'd have to just buy bikes, but then the bikes are really slow, so it just works out better to just let them use a taxi because the bikes go so slowly. I mean, if I was to ride a bike in real life, it would I would be really slow because I haven't really I haven't actually ridden a bike in quite a few years, so I'd be very slow. Come on, the, she, seriously, she is still she's still not. Oh. Right, I'm going to go off screen after this part and just try and edit Scout to see what's going on with that because I don't use custom content or mods or anything so that can't be why she's disappeared. It's just the stupid glitch and it's really annoying. Right, Scout Sergeant wasn't surprised to hear about kicking the gnome while sleepwalking. Doesn't change the facts that I was surprised by it all. <laughs> the gnome is going to be padded, oh, it's going to be padded to preserve Scout's toes. I'm going to take my fee and look for my next case. Right, while we're out and about, we might as well go to the police station because I think it's quite near. Or is it City Hall? No, it's the police station. Oh, it's not actually that near. Oh, that's annoying. Well, we're going to go there anyway. Go to the police station and obtain an investigator case. Off you go. I need to sort Scout Sergeant out. She's completely disappeared. Right, while he's doing that, we'll stay on Alyssa and see if there's a fire, because there hasn't been one yet today. So I'm kind of hoping there is one, so that she can actually do some firefighting. That would be really nice. That really would be nice to actually get to do your job. <sighs> Come on then. Oh, my new client client, Buck Green, wants to propose to his girlfriend. Unfortunately, the poor chap isn't sure if she actually loves him. This is where I come in. I need to go on a fact-finding mission for a fluttering heart. I should check in with Buck Green first. This sounds actually quite cool. Right. Go report in. She is now level 3 in handiness, which is really cool. We can't actually use this book anymore, so we'll just give it to uh, Eddie. And then I'll put it in the house when we get home. Right, can we do that? Improving horsepower. No, we still need even more. It's not horsepower, it's ho Oh, it is horsepower. I just thought, actually, it's hose power, but it's not. It's really weird. Right. What shall we do while we are waiting? Well, climb up there. That'll get you some exercise. And then you can just come up and... Do we need logic? No, we don't. Oh, yeah, we... Athletic of handiness. Okay. We can come and what her needs. No, she's fine. We might as well. You know what? They have a gym downstairs, I think. Yeah, okay. Let's come and do some working out. And in fact, does she even have any co workers? Right. Congratulations. Alyssa has just improved her handiness skill to level three. Alyssa can now make many objects self cleaning so that they never get dirty again. That's pretty good. I can't believe there's not been any fires, like seriously. Unless we've missed one again in that little bit of time where I wasn't there. Why has he got no shoes on? Fuck, seriously. Nope. Buck Green really has it bad for, his, for this girl. I hope she's worth it. He suggested I speak to a few family members to see what they think of the current relationship. That seems like a good start. Ask about relationship to two family members. We can try, but I don't think Buck Green actually has any family members. So let's just have a look. Oh no, she fell from the treadmill. That's definitely what would happen to me. If I ever went on a treadmill. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm not planning on that. Right, why don't you just read? Where's Bella? You want a bit? You know what? Eddie might as well be doing some sketching. Because he's kind of just sat watching TV all day, which is, you know, it's fun, but it would be nice to actually do some sketching and, you know, fun things like that. There we go. Go there. So go and. Actually, I think he wants to research. No, he doesn't. Okay, whatever. He can go and research architectural design anyway, because that's his job, so. Why have we... Oh, we've got a mysterious Mr. Gnome. We will put that outside at some point. Oh, you know, one of my current... Well, my current household in The Sims 3 is this household. It's Cat Hunter. Actually, she's like... Basically, Cat Hunter is an adult. 
She's quite close to being an elder. She has, um, she is dating Buck and he is a young adult and he, uh, yeah, basically, so basically I made them have a child and then, the, and then, um, obviously Kat doesn't really like, she's, with her traits and everything, she didn't really like being with just one guy. So she got back with her um, ex-boyfriend and got pregnant with his twins. And then obviously Buck found out and he was like, whoa, you're cheating on me. No. So um, he was just like, he wasn't happy. So he moved out and he got married and they had, and they adopted a child and they've got two kids as well um, that they had. And then Kat had the twins, Annalise and Adam. And then Bonnie, her first child, was obviously still there. And then Kat became an elder straight after the twins were born. I didn't realise she was that close to it, but she was. Um, so, yeah, so she had the twins and then she moved in because obviously she was going to die at some point and her oldest child was only a child and the twins were toddlers by then. So I was like, well, you know, no one can look after them. So she moved in with the twins' dad and the twins' dad already had a girlfriend, which I didn't know about. So the twins' dad... And his girlfriend had a baby, and then Kat died because she was an elder. And then the twins' dad also died because he was soon an elder after that. No, don't go to work, woman. No. Okay, ask about him. Um, basically, where was I? Yeah, they. Yeah, a lot, there was a lot of people. A lot of Sims died in that, but um, and then so Penny, um, the twins' stepmom, I guess, because they did. She didn't get married to their dad. Um, oh. Proposing would be a terrible idea. Honestly, I don't know what he sees in that girl. I'm pretty sure that girl is you, Kat. So I don't know what you've... Unless he's now with someone else. And I don't know what is going on. But yeah, um, I'll just finish what I was saying. Uh, basically, sh the by the time all that happens and Penny's left as an adult by then to raise not only her daughter, who's a toddler, but her two stepchildren who are children by then and also her husband her like deceased husband's old girlfriend's child so she's you know who was a teen by then but she just kind of didn't really care about any of them apart from her own kid so she just like dealt with a toddler and then the teenager bonnie was looking after the twins and and then penny decided to leave and i mean obviously i made her leave so, and now Bonnie is a young adult and she's married, well, engaged, and they're with Annalise and Adam, the twins, who have just aged up into young adults, and, um, oh, the little girl, oh, I can't remember her name, Olivia, Olivia, the twins' half-sister, um, is now a teenager as well. So that's really cool. So they're fine now. It's just I love creating families that have like loads of drama. I just oh I just don't know why. But I don't know how I'm gonna do this because we can't exactly ask the cat and he only has one household member. So yeah, just you know, giving you guys a story there. <laughs> I am gonna have to end this part soon actually. I was waffling on so much about um about my current household. It's just weird when you have a current household and then seeing that exact sim, like, still alive if that sim was dead in your actual house. It's really weird. I'm gonna stop talking about this now. But yeah, we can't ask her again. We can't ask the cat. I don't know who we're meant to ask because he doesn't have any other household members or family members that I know of. And I don't know who this girl is. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know how to do this one. There isn't anyone else to ask well we're just gonna go home and we'll just try tomorrow right i am going to end this part here thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this part and if you want me to do a current household on the house as i just explained about then just let me know and i will but please actually leave a comment to tell me because otherwise i'll have no idea um yeah i hope you like this video and please give it a big thumbs up if you do and also subscribe because I'm kind of obliged to say that. Okay, bye!